Okay, recurring decimal. Okay, do you guys remember what recurring decimal looks like? It is something like having a number 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Recurring, 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 recurring. Okay. So another way of writing this is 0, 1 with a little dot on that 1. Looks like an I. Okay. With little dots in there. Now the aim we're going to do now is trying to change this number into a fraction. Okay. And this is how we're going to do it. I think you guys should remember, but just in case you don't. First, what we'll do is we'll change this number, we'll give it, make it equal to a variable, to x. Okay. And now the aim is going to be to get another equation also with the variable x in it so that I can eliminate the recurring decimal. So what I'll simply do is I'll multiply this one by 10. All I want to do is, is move up this comma. This comma, I want to move it up one place. And I'll do that by multiplying with 10. Okay? So, if I multiply both sides with a 10, on this side I then have, just moving the comma up 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 recurring. So, so you multiply with the number with the recurring in the piece of something. Like if you have 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, so you just move it up to 2. Exactly, so you want to move your comma so that the number that's recurring is at least on the other side as well. So here, my, I've got a 1 that's recurring. So I want to move my comma so that that 1 is on the other side. Okay, we'll do an example just now. Okay, so to multiply with a 10, move the comma 1 space. And now I'm going to subtract these two from each other. I'm going to say, I've got 10 x's on this side, minus the 1 x on that side, and I'm left with 9x. So I'm left with 9x. And on this side, I must do the same, the same direction. I've got 10x minus that. So on this side, I've got 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So this is going to be subtract, uh, are going to be used, and I'm going to subtract this top part from it. Okay. Then I get 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1. 0. 1 minus 1? 0. 1 minus 1? 0. So do you see? I get an answer where it's just 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Which is perfect. It's, it's exactly what I want. So I actually just have 9x is equal to 1. Okay. Now all I need to do is get x on its own. Remember, x represented this 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So I still want to get x on its own. How do I do that? What do I need to do on this side to get x on its own? Divide by 9. Divide by 9. So I divide by 9 on both sides. And I'm left with x is equal to 1 over 9. And there we go. We've changed the recurring decimal into a fraction. Okay. Let's just use our calculators to, to test ourselves. Use your calculator, 1 divided by 9 is 0,1111111. We did it correct. Okay, 0,1111111.